Hello and welcome to another You Attend by Chronologic YouTube tutorial. My name is James and I am part of the support team for the You Attend system. Today we will be covering time card approvals. So the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to log into your account. You can see up there as the administrator. So only the administrator can set these up. So if I click settings, because only the administrator can see this, and we're going to look at time card approvals, which is found under communications. So if we click communications, and you can see here, we've got approvals, time card approvals, and they're off at the moment. They will come as off by default when you first get your account. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to turn these on. So if I click edit, I'm just going to set them to on for now. Now, on here, we've got three different levels of approval. We've got the require employee approval. We typically don't recommend that this is enabled because if this is on, uh, it will require your employees every week or every month, depending on what uh, your pay period is, to require uh, their own approval. Now, employees typically will not do this very frequently. Uh, unless you are very regimented with your business, we don't recommend this being on. So I'm going to set the employee approval to off. So I'll keep that one off. Next, we've got supervisor approval. So supervisor approval is basically second in command on the account. So the admin is the highest ranking profile. And then we've got supervisor, which is just underneath the administrator. So these would be like your department managers or your line managers. Um, I'm not going to have supervisor approval turned on for today. I am just going to have admin approval, which is myself. So I will leave that as on. So now if I go to time cards, let's have a look at time card approval and what it does. Now you'll notice here that uh, I've got two employees. I've got David Test and James Test. Now, at the moment, David Test is coming up with no time card. And what this means is David Test has not worked this week. So you can see it's running from the 31st to the 6th. So this week, David has performed no work. So therefore, there is no time card to approve as he hasn't worked. However, if we look here, James Test is pending. It is pending my approval. So if I go to James, you can see that James Test is currently working in reception at the moment. Okay. Uh, there's no clock out, uh, but there will be some hours later on today when James test clocks out. So you can see if I just scroll down to the bottom, I've got here pending time card approval. Now, the whole point of time card approval is that it essentially approves the time card that you are happy that the hours this employee has performed are correct. They're right. And they've been adjusted and they are accurate for payroll. Once they've been approved, they are then locked and prevented from editing. So if I click approve time card, you will notice now that this time card is locked in. The employee still will be able to clock um, as they still haven't finished today. However, you'll notice that the buttons on the side where we add, delete or edit time cards are locked. So this means that they cannot be changed as the, the records are accurate. If you're going to be doing time card approval, we always recommend doing the approvals on the last day of the pay period. So this would be Saturday the 6th. So tomorrow, what I would do is I would come in, check all of my employees' time cards and make sure they're okay and approve them. If they're not okay for approval, that's when you would go and consult the employee and try to find out what is wrong. If you make a mistake, you can unapprove time cards simply by clicking unapproved time card. You can see now that the time card is now pending again. And the edit, delete and add buttons for all the data have reappeared. So you can just simply do that. I'm going to click approve again. And go back to the full time card list. And you can see here, there is a little padlock which symbolizes that this time card for this pay period is now locked and when it was approved. You could approve the time cards from here by using the select button at the top. 
um, or you can do it individually. I always recommend doing it individually as you will need to check the hours are actually correct before approving them. Otherwise, this defeats the whole point of time card approval. It's a fantastic way to get your line managers to ensure that they are checking their employees' hours and making sure that they are on time, they're correct, the holidays are up to date, their accruals are up to date, all of these things, and it encourages your staff to be using UAttend more frequently, uh, which ensures that your account's hours will be more up to date and therefore accurate for when you process them and hand them over to your payroll team. Thanks for listening. I hope you found this video useful. Remember to like this video by clicking the thumbs up and subscribe for more content. You can find out more information on how to get in touch with us in the video description down below.